Hello, I'm Maria from the Richards Homeschool Life. Today's Tuesday, so here I am with another vlog. Today I'm just going to give you a quick haul for what we bought for going back to school, so to speak. Um, not much this year because she's got books left from last year and I have got quite a few folders, but I still keep buying more. It's the colours, they attract me. <laughs> But yeah, so I've tried not to buy too much because she doesn't really need a lot. I mean, mainly the most things she goes through in a year is the pencils. She likes the retractable pencils and we do get through quite a lot of them because for some reason, Sean insists on writing in pencil and not pen. She doesn't seem to like writing pen very much. I don't know why, but she just does. So um, yeah, mostly it's Pencily things. So we've not bought a lot, but I'll show you what I've bought anyway. If you notice, I sound a bit echoey today because I'm in a different room. I'm in a spare room, in a bedroom upstairs, and we've created it. Um, my eldest daughter was using it for a bedroom, but she's moved into another room now. And we created this room. Well, it was for something else in mind, should it ever occur. But... Um, in the meantime, Sean is having it as a school room and, well, I don't know how long it'll go on for, but for now anyway, it's going to be a school room. Not that we need school rooms. Like I've always said, you don't need any special place for homeschooling. We started off in the living room with the books on a knee on the settee. So you don't need anywhere special. The only reason that she's using this room and it is a, like a classroom for the moment is because of other circumstances. So we're making use of it for the moment. It might not be forever or it might see her till the end of her school time, which estimate about another five years yet. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. We're always chopping and changing things. You have to excuse me. I look a bit flushed. I've been running around. I've had one of those weekends and just running around and up and down the stairs, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, yeah, so like I said, um, I hope you don't sound too echoey and hope you can see me okay. But I'm gonna give you a quick look at what we've been buying for back to school, so to speak, and uh, then we'll have another chat again. So I'll just show you what I've got. Right, I'm afraid I can't go back too far because um, I've got the keyboard behind me, I'm only in a small room. So you can see on the table, I've just put a few items, like I say, not many, but I'll just tell you about them. So we'll start over here. I picked up three exercise books. They're quite thick actually. I was quite impressed by how thick they were, they weren't flimsy. And I got these for a pound in B&M. So lined paper. I just picked them up on a whim, saw them, they were selling them off for a pound because they're getting all the Halloween and Christmassy bits in now, so they're selling off the back to school stuff, so I thought, oh great, I'll just pick three up. Because, I mean, even if Sean doesn't use them, I often use an exercise book for writing different things in, but yeah, these are great. I quite like the thickness of these, so I've got those three. Now, I picked up a big binder, and as you can see inside, I got some if I can keep the lid up. Some pockets to go with it, colour matching of course, and I love green, my favourite colour, this colour. So these, as you can see, come from B&M, 175 for them, and there was 50 pockets in them, and I picked up two of them, so she's got 100 pockets, which should be okay in here. And the reason I got this big binder was because um, Sean wants to do photography and I thought it might be a great idea for the, all the photographs that she takes, the pictures, if she sort of prints them all off and we can put them into pockets and store them in here. So it will be a folder for uh, photography pictures. So I thought that'd be quite nice. So she's keeping the pictures and also she's got the work there you know to show if she needed to show it to anybody or for her own use so i thought that was quite nice nice big folder to keep it all in because i thought well she'll need a big one because time all them are full up with pictures then it'd be quite you know thick packed so i got that for a photography lessons and over here i picked up some self-adhesive labels 
these are not so much for Sean as well, but for my use, we both use them. We put them, you know, labels onto the top of folders so you can write which lesson it's for and what it's for. So they're great for that. So I picked up, I think they were from Poundland, Pound in Poundland. It's the same, it's funny saying a pound from Poundland because you think, oh, isn't that obvious? But nowadays, Poundland things are a lot more than a pound. Not many things are a pound, so, you know. That was a pound, <laughs> so I thought that was quite good. We picked up some Sharpie pens. They were from Poundland, but these were two pound each. Now, these, we picked up a black one. So I picked up two because she gets through a lot of these, simply because when she does artwork, she likes drawing cartoon characters and things like that. And she likes to outline them in a nice black sharp pen. So she normally has the Sharpies, so she gets through them. As you can see, they're fine ultra fine ones and um, she gets through them quite quickly so I got two of those to last her for a little while for doing her art when she does a cartoon characters picked up some pens I noticed in the box that we've still got pens from last year but you can never have too many pens can you <laughs> I've got loads but yeah I thought these were quite nice these were from Poundland I think these were just a pound and pound or a pound fifty they weren't much so I got to them because they've got the colours in as well so they were quite good um two packs of the um protracting pencils is that what they call them but she likes these kind and they've got the rubbers on the tops as well which is quite good so I've got her two because last year she got through two packs of them because like I say she writes in pencil all the time I don't know why but she seems to prefer writing in pencil. So I got two packs of them. Um, they were a pound each as well, I think, from Poundland. I'm pretty sure they were a pound each. Got her some Tipex. Although I know she writes in pencil and uh, she can rub that out, but we do use Tipex quite often for things. So I got another pack of Tipex. Um, I got some intensity fine pens, more fine liner pens for when she does her art and there's some colours in there as well. I think I got these first because I couldn't find any sharpie ones and it got a black one in and some coloured ones and then I found some sharpie ones so I got them as well so she's got both and Bic is quite a good make, it's been going donkey's years since I was young and that is a long time. <laughs> Um, got her a print stick for gluing because we get through quite a bit of them. So got her a new one of them. That again was pound and I'm sure that was a pound. And then last thing I bought was some paper. We always need lots of paper. I was looking at it in B&M, £6 for a pack in there. I think this used to be £3, but I think I paid £4 because everything's going up, as you know. So I think I paid £4 for that, which is still cheaper than paying the £6 in b &M. And it's good paper. I use this one all the time from Poundland. So, yeah, we use that for the printer. Now, these I've just put on here to show you. These are the ones from last year. I was just going to show you what we got left from last year. We've got two small exercise books. They're all lined. And then I've got one, two, three, four or five large ones I don't think I used any large ones last year I don't recall using them so I thought oh well I've got these to shed so I don't need to buy too many exercise books we don't really get through them we tend to print things off or do things in folders more than anything but I got them from last year anyway so we'll probably use them because we're doing more of a variety of our own chosen lessons this year we'll probably use them plus I've got one of these um binders left as well I used quite a few of them last year because like I say with, with printing sheets off we keep them in there but I have got a spare one that I have been using as you can see the boxes over there um, it might be that blue one actually because I popped some work in for this year that I printed off free at the end of last term so I've got that one to use as well and then this one so yeah that's all I bought really didn't buy anything much and well, it's pencils mainly, like I say, and the Sharpies. She'll get through the Sharpies as well. And hopefully we'll use some of these books. I love the colours. I loved them last year. I think I just bought one of every colour and that's why I ended up with so many. In fact, I've got two of the green because that's my favourite colour. <laughs> 
So yeah, I didn't really need to buy those other three down there, but the fact that they were on offer for a pound. I mean, look, last year they actually were a pound, but this year they were selling them off in the sales at a pound, so I picked them up. So I, I thought we well, could never have too many. So yeah, that's all we bought for back to school, and like I say, I got those couple of bits left. Now, I'm going to show you where I am, what room I'm in. So you can see the trays that we use over there. Showed you them before. They've all got to be sorted out. The stack of books in that top one are all um, what she's used in year seven and eight so far. I want to swap them into a bigger box because obviously time she's finished with this year and that will be key stage three sewn up. It needs a bigger box. It's going to be spilling over. It's spilling over now. So I'm going to put them in a bigger box. And then obviously sort out the Monday to Friday trays. That's a miscellaneous tray that spare books go in and odds and ends. Um, so yeah, and the other five obviously are Monday to Friday trays. I've got to sort them out, what we're going to be doing and put them in, in the right days. So they've been moved up in this room. I've got carpet shampoo there. Because I've got all them, um, like laminate flooring and tile flooring downstairs so i don't need my coffee shampoo down there it's up the stairs and up here we've got car carpets <laughs> get my words out so the shampoo's up here so yeah i'll come over to this door and then i can just swing you around here we go like i say there's the thing now i've got um a really old unit there i bought it when sean i was expecting sean because I thought it was great to keep all the baby clothes in which it was so i've had it since then and it's been from room to room different people have used it for different things and recently it's been in the shed empty because i didn't know what to do with it so dean took it out for me he's washed it all out and we've put it up here and we're just going to put bits and pieces in it um maybe books have used anything like that anything that you know, Sean uses. I thought these two top ones there, we can put pencils in because Sean's bedroom is absolutely full of art stuff, crayons, stuff like that. So I thought we'll look through it all, go through it all. And then what we'll do is all the pencils, colors, things like that, because she's got trays of them in there. We'll tip into these four smaller trays, organize them in there so that can have all of them. But should the bedroom be taken over for another use, back to being a bedroom again, that will then be emptied and discarded and used for clothing purposes again. But yeah, for now, that's what it's going to be used for. Um, pencils and crayons and books. and Probably put work in there because I print work off that to see for free that I'm not going to be using for the moment. And what I normally do is pop them into trays down there and into folders. As you can see down in this blue folder there, without me opening it, I printed off some sheets last year, times tables. There was six sheets like that and all different, all times tables, and they were free. So I thought, well, I'm gonna print them off and I'll save them for the start of the September term. So like things like that, that to print off that I'm not gonna be using straight away. I thought it might be a good idea to put in some of them bigger drawers as well, rather than put them all into the folders and use all my folders up because then I can keep them free for working, for putting Sean's working that she's actually doing. There's this one that's overflowing, look. <laughs> that's, um, well, I've got year seven and eight completed work there, but obviously there'll be more sheets, um, not sheets, but booklets and folders to go in when she does year nine. You see the blue maths is there and they'll be finished and they'll go in there. So yeah, it's all got to be sorted out all sorted so what i've done i've got that there that's a stall off the keyboard and <laughs> that's the table the table i've used dean has lots of these fold up tables different sizes for decorating and doing things like that and we've even used them for buffets this one was used for a small buffet table i thought Do you know what it'd be quite good in here it's temporary I can pack it up move it away when i want to but in the meantime it's really big i mean We've used it for meal tables and four of us have sat around it quite comfortably. But for me and Sean, we can both sit in it. I've got my spare chair downstairs that I'm going to bring up and probably Sean could perhaps tuck her chair in there and maybe I will use the keyboard chair 
here when I'm doing something with her. So there's room for both of us. So that's quite good and it's portable. I can pack it away if we move again to a different room. Keyboard's there. It's covered up with mum's old tablecloth because it gets so dusty and it's hard to clean the keyboard out. The keys. <laughs> Suitcase down there, that's got to go in the loft. <laughs> um, down in this corner, I've got um printer that's my old printer there as you can see like i say i use lots of that paper i've got to sort all that out see some of that can go in one of those little plastic gray and clear drawers so that's my old printer i've got a new printer now that's just been set up i haven't got a clue how to work it i haven't even done it yet i just bought more ink for it because they give you so much free but i thought i better get a new pack because we print a lot off so i've got my new one I haven't got clear to work it. I'm going to have to get Lisa to help me because she's a technical person. She works with things like that. And that's my old one. There's not a lot wrong with my old one. It just is a bit hit and miss with the signals. And sometimes it will print, sometimes it won't. And it throws itself off everything. So I think it's going a bit. But it's great for copying and that. So I don't, I've been doing Dean's sheets. So I don't really want to chuck it because it still copies. But then you don't want to leave junk line around, do you? So I don't know. I'll have to move it and sort it. Up here I've got some shelving, I've got my laminator there and some books up there and my Alexa unplugged there, I don't really want that in there, I don't really want it full stop but it can sit there till it gets some use out of it but yeah this would be all right shelving whether I'll use it to put some books on, depends how long Sean's in here, we might fill it with books, um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes actually thinking about it I suppose I could stack a reading box on there that she's going to do for the year because then it'd be easy for her to look at and decide which one she's going to read next and the book box I think it's this top pink one that's yeah that's got the books in that would be free for folders or anything I needed to put in there so that might be an idea actually that might be an idea so yeah I, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to put a chair this side for Sean and keep stall there that way it's not too big and bulky for getting in there or Sean can sit there and I'll sit over here but that leads me into the weekend because this is upstairs I don't know how Sean is going to get in here very easily um, the reason for that is Sean had an accident on Saturday she tripped off the curb bent a leg over well her ankle and broke a bone in her ankle so we spent five hours from Saturday afternoon until the evening at the hospital um, getting her, her leg sorted her ankle sorted so as a result she's in a plaster cast and got crutches and she's finding it quite difficult to get up and down the stairs because we've only got one toilet and that's upstairs so she has to come up for that and obviously her bedroom's up here so she has to have somebody follow her with the crutches and she's coming up on her bottom up the stairs and then the same in reverse. Um, it's a little bit dangerous because when she comes down she has to hop from the first couple of steps until she can get her bottom onto the top step to shuffle down. So I don't know how it's going to work out or using it for a schoolroom straight away. It, I might just have to carry down the work and we do it in the living room. I might have to just carry everything down because and I can't expect her to keep hopping up here all the time. It's just going to be too much for her, I think. So and it's probably going to sit empty for a while, which is a shame because we've got everything ready. But, you know, I, I can sort everything. I've still got to tidy everything up and sort everything into the right trays. Got all that to do this week ready. So... I don't know, she'll probably have to do a schooling downstairs for the time being. And it's even awkward because from our kitchen is on two levels. So the living room and the kitchen, the main part of the kitchen where the cooker and that is, is all on one level. But then there's a really um, drop of a step that goes down into the lower level where the dining table is and all the um, utility area. So she has to hop down there. That's a bit of a job, but hopping back up again is a lot harder for her. And Lisa's been supporting and even carried her over the steps because we've got another step then to get out of the house. 
and I'm not going to be able to carry her like Lisa does because for one I'm a lot shorter than Sean and also I have an hernia in my an umbilical hernia along my waist that's waiting to be sorted so to lift her it's just out of the question for me so it's really awkward and it's just been one of those weekends and it's all trial and error now how things are going to pan out trying to do things so I think um, her new little room for a school in is going to not be in use as such until a leg well maybe out of the cast I don't know I don't know you know at first you'll probably still have the crutches when the cast's off I don't know but we'll wait to hear from the fracture clinic, they said. And uh, I suppose the first appointment won't be for quite a few weeks because they've got to give it a chance to start healing before they take any more x-rays to see what's happening with it. There must be a set amount of time. Most people are telling me six weeks, so we'll see. We shall see. Yeah. So that's it, really. Um, manic weekend. Everything's a bit up in the air with uh, Sean until we get into a routine of how to, you know, sort of move around and where we can go and that. Also, we're doing work outside. Um, what day was it? Friday morning. It was like Friday morning. Dean was like, he dropped Lisa off at work early. He hadn't got work. So he said, right, I'm going back to bed. We're just going to have a lie in, just going to chill for a bit, rest, maybe even watch telly. We've got nothing to do. Well, while he was out taking Lisa to work, my other son rang up, who's, um, he, whose friend does scaffolding. He goes, because I'd ordered some scaffolding, but we didn't know when it was coming. He goes, We're coming in a bit. The scaffolding's coming, so I'll come round and see you. <laughs> So Dean come back, I said, oh, forget the, the telly of the chilled morning. I said, we've got to get her up and the scaffolding's coming. So we've got scaffolding front and back of the house. They've been up on the roof at the weekend because we've got to get all the moss off. My gutters were full of it and they were sagging down. It's never been clean, never. So they've been up there, they've had all that, oh, such a mess, everything's such a mess. And then Dean's... Um, Again, put an extra bracket where it has started to sag on the gutter end just to support it. Although it shouldn't run anymore. Well, it might a bit if it's sagging. But there's nothing to stop it running free anyway now because all the moss is out. But yeah, so he's going to do that. And then he's going to paint all the gutter and we've got some paint for it. And under the eaves of the house and the fascias and paint them then we've got to wait for all the scaffolding to be removed because um, we don't know when that's going to be removed they just come whenever so that could be up for weeks but we can't do the second part of the house until the scaffolding is removed because i bought some like cream colored paint to do the top walls of the house and the bottom is going to be um like an oak brown which it already is if you've seen outside my house it's that color but it's just got to be redone so if you're wondering why it's in two colors and having oak brown at the bottom we live in a non-standard construction house so it's like um timber framed house it's like timber wood so yeah that's why it's like that but I'll perhaps show you when it's done or being done but at the moment yeah we've got all that so we've got all that up so dean was up on the roof on saturday cleaning so was my son cleaning when sean rang to say that she'd had this accident and can dad come around and fetch me because i can't walk well, when you seen her an ankle was like that like an s-bend in a sink shape we all thought she's broke that so yeah that was hospital um but you know for everything they say how short staff they are and all the papers all the things they say about them they were absolutely brilliant really brilliant um really nice you can see they are short staff they're definitely short staff because the doctor who wanted to well who did plaster sean's leg said i'll just go and see if i can get some help and then come back he says oh there is nobody to help me but he did a fantastic job. They've got fantastic temperaments. They're so kind and helpful. And even though we waited five hours, it didn't feel like five hours. Um, we were moving departments. They were sending us to where we needed to go in between that like, x-rays because we had to have two x-rays for her. One to see what had happened. And then the second one after he plastered it to make sure he'd got it in the right position. Otherwise, he'd have to redo it. 
So yeah, and they're really good, they're really efficient what they're doing and they are working hard. So, you know, they're really good. Uh, my hat goes off to them. And nobody was complaining. Somebody was saying, oh, I've been here since one o'clock, she says, but they're ever so busy. And this was sort of seven o'clock in an evening, she says, I know my turn will come, they're really busy. And everybody got such a nice attitude as well. And, you know, it was, yeah, really, a good, well, say so good experience. Uh, that it's not a good experience because you're all there because you're poorly. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. It, it was... Um, nice and calm and you know and everybody was working on doing the best and everybody appreciated that and was patient so yeah and my hat goes off to them so yeah that's been my weekend <laughs> that's my weekend now i don't know how well you can see me because my picture keeps getting a bit dark i'm obviously gonna have to move around a bit in this room till you get the best light for doing it because if i do a few videos up here um, I've got to find where the light is. But like I say, Sean's going to be downstairs for a bit, I think, because I can't expect her to keep coming up here every day, you know, unless she has breakfast in bed and comes straight from her room and into here. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, eh? We'll see what happens. We won't be starting schooling yet for another week, so we've got to sort all the school boxes out. <laughs> I like doing that. It's quite exciting getting ready for a new term new year sort of thing but same time I think oh can't have a job to do <laughs> but never mind, I think that's because of everything else that's going on I've got loads and loads of things in my head that we've got to sort out so yeah I hope your bank holiday weekend wasn't as uh, dramatic as mine <laughs> and I uh, hope you all had a nice weekend and now I shall see you now next Tuesday and don't know what we'll bring to you yet. Actually, what I might do next Tuesday, um, talking about like homeschooling and children who do self-led work, because not everybody follows curriculum. We sort of, we did fully at first with our key stage three, but then we sort of went half and half-ish. So mornings was curriculum, um, key stage three, and then afternoons was self-led. But um, people say, oh, they don't do much in self-led learning and anything. And we're talking then like Sean has the school holidays so she can have time with her friends and things like that who do go to school so she doesn't get to see much of. But it's thinking, oh, if you think they don't learn during that time, it's quite surprising what they do learn. So I think what I'm going to do next Tuesday, I'll show you what Sean... Yes, I'll show you what Sean's been doing next Tuesday. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week. Short and sweet, not. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday and we'll do that next Tuesday. I'll show you what she's been learning. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers and definitely have a chat with me down below in the comments. I enjoy having a chat and getting to know you, so to speak. So take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.